Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And we are in the middle of the horrible plagues that God is pouring out on the Egyptians. And today we're looking at the fourth plague, which is the plague of flies. Now, I don't know about you, but I hate flies. I mean, you know, you get one or two and they're pesky and they're buzzing about you. I remember one time I was preaching and there was like this one fly that kept coming around. And it's like, okay, the, you know, it's like a demon's in this fly. He's just buzzing me while I'm preaching. I hate that. But the worst I've ever had was on a mission trip to Sinaloa, Mexico. We were out doing uh, like vacation Bible school on this farm. And I kid you not, I've never been in a place where there were so many flies. There were so many flies, you couldn't even pretend to kill them. I mean, you kill one and a hundred replace it. Uh, they just were landing on your head, on your face, on your arms, all over the place, just buzzing about nonstop. It was disgusting. Plus the fact that it was about 105 and humid and we were sweating profusely and these flies are all around. It, it just, needless to say, it was gross. So when I read this plague of flies that are on the Egyptians, I just kind of, yeah, grosses me out. Don't like it. And, and I'm sure theirs was far worse than Sinaloa, Mexico. So um, this is the fourth plague. And this is where the difference begins in the plagues. So up to now, all the plagues had affected everybody in the land of Egypt. But with the plague of flies, God says, this is only going to affect the Egyptians, and it's not going to affect the Israelites in the land of Goshen, where they were living. It's not going to impact them and, and the people around them. And so uh, this, this, is the, this is God sparing his people the wrath that he was visiting on the Egyptians. All right, this is so the difference began. And, and the reason is, and this is what God says, that you may know I am the Lord. That's why I did that. So now you've seen my power. Now it's going to be just bad stuff on Egyptians. And, and the Israelites are going to escape most of it. Not all of them, but most of them. Now think about this. This is the, the kind of the application point I want you to think about. Because of Jesus, you and I are spared. No, we're, we're not spared the, the effects of sin because we live in a sin-ravaged world and so we still experience pain and sorrow and death, okay? That, that part's not true. And yes, life can be hard and difficult and sorrowful and God's people can be persecuted even. But here's the main point. We are spared the wrath of God. We are spared the eternal suffering, torment, desperation, and pain of hell. Jesus makes the difference. Because when you know Jesus as Savior and Lord, you are one of God's people, and so we're spared. So I hope that the promises of God ring powerful and true in your heart today. Uh, I think of Romans 8:18, 8, where the Apostle Paul said, uh, I do not consider this present suffering worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed in us in Christ Jesus. In other words, no matter what you're going through, the, you'll forget all about it once you step into the glory of heaven. Once you enter into eternity and you're brought home to Jesus, you're in paradise with him, you've got that place prepared for you, none of this stuff is going to even matter. Not one little bit. I do not consider this present suffering worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed in us in Christ Jesus. So remember, if you know Jesus, it only gets better. And I hope that encourages you today. So God bless Calvary.